Now we're going to move on to a new topic. So this is a typical form of a power series. So you've got your you've got your constant, and then you've got your x, x squared, x to the power of three, and so on, all the way, all the way to infinity. So for example, cos can be rewritten as a, as a constant uh, minus x squared plus x to the power of four minus x to the power of six, and so on. But you you couldn't find the uh, the appropriate coefficients. Uh, which we will do in uh, in the future. But the point here is that you can rewrite cos as as this as uh, as something x squared x to the power of four x to the power of six and so on. And the reason why you're able to do that is because of this. Um, remember a long time ago in in our section on sketching complicated graphs, I would give you this graph to sketch uh, minus x squared uh, plus x to the power of four. So uh, so, so when x is small, this thing would dominate. So, so in the small, when x is small, it wants to do a negative quadratic. It wants to do this. When x is big, it wants to do this x to the power of four. Well, x to the power of four looks like this. Hang on, x to the power of four looks like this. So, so when x is big, it wants to do x to the power of four. So when x is negatively big, it wants to do x to the power of four. And combining, combining all, combining both of them will look something like this. So, so your graph will look something like this. Well, to create your course, to create your course, we would consider this. We would consider this. Um, we would consider this. Y equals one minus x squared plus uh, x to the power of four. So when x is small, it wants to do this. So when x is small, it wants to do an intercept of one, and then it wants to do a negative quadratic. So an intercept of one, it wants to do a negative quadratic. It wants to do a negative quadratic. But when, when it's big, around the big region, it wants to do x to the power of 4. So around the big region, hang on, around the, around the big region, it, will, it, it wants to do x to the power of 4. Around the big region, it wants to do x to the power of 4. So combining the two would give you something like this. Combining the two would give you something like this. Combining the two would give you something like this. Um, and then your, to, to create the course, um, you, the next term should be minus x to the power of of uh, of six. So now uh, now around the bigger region, it wants to do negative x to the power of six. So negative x to the power of six will look something like this. Negative x to the power of six will look something like this. So around around this big region, it wants to do this this negative uh, x to the power of six. Around the negatively big, it wants to do this. So combining Combining all, combining, combining all these terms, combining all these terms, it will look something like this. It will look something like this. Don't forget, you uh, you still need to find the appropriate coefficients. You still need to find the appropriate coefficients here, coefficients here, coefficients here. But you can see that by by adding um, by adding all these x squared, x to the power of four, x to the power of six, and so on, you can create your 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 course graph. You can play your course graph. So, so so the point I'm trying to make here is that you can you can express course as a, as a sum of all these terms. Okay. So so the the reason why we we're, we're interested in this is because because if I were to ask you to integrate this, if I were to ask you to integrate this, you see you can't really integrate this. The antiderivative of this it cannot be expressed in elementary terms. So you cannot if you try and integrate this, um, well, you can't really integrate this. The antiderivative of this cannot be expressed in elementary terms, meaning you cannot express the antiderivative of this in terms of cos, cos of x, in terms of sine, in terms of logs, uh, in terms of e. You cannot express it in in, um, in in terms of in elementary terms. So so um, so so in order to integrate this, well, we can't integrate this, but what we can do is. We can we can break up uh, e to the power of x in in uh, in this form here, which which for the time being I'm asking you to just accept it for the time being. In the future we will develop a way of breaking this up. You can break e to the power of x uh, as a, as a power series. So you can express it as 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 this whole thing here. So expressing it as this whole thing here, um, well we've got we've got uh, we've got minus x squared here. So put this into the x here, that will then give you this. Put this complicated thing into this x here, that will then give you this. Put it into here, that will then give you this, and so on. Um, so 
so if you tidy this up, tidy this whole thing up, it will then give you this. You see, this thing here is, is hard to integrate, but you can integrate each individual term here. So, so we, we, we would, well, this thing here is hard to integrate, but we would, we would integrate, integrate these, all these individual terms. It's much easier to integrate these all the way to infinity, remember. So this, this is the reason why we're, we're interested in the power series. You can't integrate this, but you can break it up into, into all these parts and then integrate each individual part. Okay, so, so, um, yeah, so, so we, we now need a way of, um, we, we, we now need to, uh, to learn about the power series.